Is right. Yeah. Well done, Dave. Well done. <laughs> And everything else I claim is going to be much worse from here. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of the Drift Games Vlog. As you guys know, we're doing much more raw style vlogs at the moment. So let us know if you're liking them in the comments. Hope you're all having a good day. We're having a good day because the first modifications to the Supra might be happening today. Less than 24 hours later. Less than 24 hours from buying it. Now, I'm obviously gonna order a lot of parts for this car, but they're gonna take a few weeks to come in, let's be realistic. But we've come down here to our boys in Precision Tinted Graphics because there's a couple of little things I wanna do just to make the car look a little bit tastier right from the off. However, as it's Precision Tinted Graphics, they never let us come down here without something special. And there's two cars inside that we haven't seen yet that are probably gonna blow your mind. So let's go in and see what they are. Your reaction to this, Josh. Before I show you these cars, Josh, I'm going to say why they're special. Okay. So one of them is one of the most famous time attack cars and racing cars ever to come from Japan, which is in Ireland. And the other is a one of one for Europe. So we're talking two Hondas here, but very special in the one place. Never been together before. Let's go check them out. I just think it's a big pressure when there's a wrapping company wrapping their own car and making a big claim. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. I'm, ready. I'm never ready. Wowzers. Are we going through? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I'm not gonna lie guys, I really liked the rap before, but you have done something special here. <laughs> that is incredible. So this is a twist on the old Jordan F1 livery, right. which Keith took the old livery and made it into like a new style, right? Because the old one is like a Hornet, mm -hmm. but the Hornet is now coming down onto the bumper where it normally was on the side of the car. They have blades and heat guns, which replaces a cigarette company that would have been on the car. <laughs> I quite like the master wraps for master cars. Yeah. <laughs> so what was the inspiration behind it, guys? That's the man that had the inspiration, not me here. One, Ireland's only F1 team. True. So that was one. They were a Honda powered engine. It's a Honda. There are colors insofar as yellow, goldy, black. That's true. So uh, it just all started to make sense when the idea came to me and then uh, played around with delivery for a few minutes and straight away I thought this this has to happen so because in my head because Jay told me about a month ago I was like I'm going to do like a Jordan F1 livery and I was like Ooh, that might look a bit weird and then because I was thinking you just put a big hornet on the side of the car like people used to do on the Jordan Civics back in the day yeah. which looked terrible yeah. but this looks unbelievable the mix of black now this is uh, one of two sorry pandem kitted Civics in Europe, Europe yeah, yeah. and it happens to be a race car. So talk us through the spec of it, just in case people haven't, because this isn't just an EG Civic with a body kit, this is an actual fully blown race car, um, which is pretty ridiculous. So this is a 1.8? No, it's a B21. So totally it's, wrong, uh, straight up. <laughs> <That's 'cause> I'm <laughs> not sure why you're trying to go in there. It's a B20. I don't know why I never introduce cars anymore, I'm just like, I have no idea what anything about Honda. So, Go for it, it's a B. It's a B21, yeah, so it's a, a B18 stroke there to a 2.1. It's built by AP Performance. So I'm gonna take a shot in the dark, which may make yeah, me look stupid. Right. Is the B20 the bottom end from like a CRV or a HRV or something like that? Yeah, is right, yeah. Well done, Dave, well done. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wrap it there, we'll wrap it yeah, there. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. And everything else I claim is gonna be much worse from here. <laughs> So yeah, it's, I, I remember that conversion back in the day. It was like, it's a bit like when they put the 2JZ on the bottom of a 1JZ to make a 1.5JZ kind of thing. Yeah. So that's a pretty mad. <laughs> <laughs> like, confused yeah, him yeah. there. You confused confused me there, yeah. So yeah, no, it's running it's, uh, run 286 brake for now. <clears throat> We're going coil and plug then. It should get over 300, so. So it's 300 NA out of NA. a two liter Honda. Yeah. That's a lot of power lot for of an power, NA, yeah. especially on a Honda, because they don't make power very easily. Yeah, and it's a light enough car too. It's only 880 kilos, so. 
And then I get into it. kilos. Yeah. And this thing is like... So it's an Irish Touring Car, yeah. So from the Irish Touring Car Championship. Yeah. It's fully stripped out, fully caged, fully everything. And am, am I hearing we have something tasty on the way for next year as well? Yeah, there's a six-speed six sequential going into it. Wow. So, yeah. So six-speed sequential, 300 horsepower, 880 kgs. That's going to be a rocket ship. Yeah, it should be. It better be up the front now. <laughs> <Better be. laughs> the eyes are like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to win. <laughs> yeah. See, you got to remember that in drifting, we kind of people are quite humble and they say, you know, oh, we'll just give it a go next year and we hope we do well. Racing car guys are like, I am building this car to win and it's very competitive. And Jay is at the, the front end of the pack, so. But every year everyone gets faster, so you have to keep improving. That's the thing, yeah. So what times do we think this will do in Mandelo, do you think, when it's done? It should do, well, hopefully it'll do 59s in the national and 59? What do you reckon? I think it'll do a 59, yeah. Yeah, and should then on the international. Maybe 50? 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, when we used to go to Mondello and there used to be Time Attack, Correct, yeah. this car originally, now you'll know the story more than me, but it was an original Jay's Racing car from Japan. So mm -hmm. this would have competed at, you know, Fuji Speedway, it would have competed at Tsuba, all that. It was a proper mental car. I think it was then. the first car, saloon car, to break um, the 60 second lap time in Tsuba. It done a 58.9, I think. Um, Which is like. Fastest two wheel drive. And that, that's a big deal in Japan. Yeah. So like, it's a big, that, that shootout of lap times on that track is like a big deal. And this thing was, and then we couldn't believe it when it just arrived to, to Mandela one day, which just happened to be in Ireland. So that was a long time ago now. So tell us the story from then to now. Yeah, so probably, probably 10, 12 years ago, I came into Ireland uh, through Tuna Factory. And my brother Barry would have drove it for the Tuna Factory in um, t time attacks and Irish touring car events, early t Irish touring car era. Um, would have been a front running car. Uh, I'm going to put that more play. It wiped everything at the time. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. wiped everything. <laughs> Everyone hated this car. Yeah. It was so fast. Um, that was in that, 2010, was it? 2011? Probably, yeah, 2010, 2011. And um, then it was put into hiding for a long, long time. It went and got fully, fully, fully overhauled, painted upside down, inside out, all put back together. And now it's finally got its full livery back as it was when it left Japan. Um, so this is, this is, because it was rough-ish, mm. I remember it had, well it had done a lot of racing. Yeah, when it so, arrived from yeah. Japan it wasn't clean. It was no. like, it was so like now, mine was So you, what you guys have done is, you are actually, <laughs> <laughs> polite, yeah. it's right. You've essentially replicated the original livery of the car from Japan, which is very cool. So this is how it looked in Japan, but as if it was fresh out of Jay's racing back in the day. Yeah. And then, so what's the specs on this? So it's different now than it was, so I've got a new engine. It is it better or is it faster? It did. Is it which, sorry? Is it pastoral slower than it was it's, before? So when this came to Ireland originally, around Mandela it was doing like a 60 second lap time. Since its overhaul, Barry got a 58.9. So it's gone quicker than Jay's racing had managed. We think. It's hard to know because they didn't have it. What, do, what does it weigh? <laughs> it's 700 kilos. 700 kilos. And it's now 262.70 break out of a B18. Not a, not a stroked. It's a B18, it's about 270 horsepower. It was built by a guy in the UK called uh, Perry, who's just a wizard when it comes to these things. So 280 and, uh, horsepower out of a 1.8 Honda, and it's 700 odd kilos. Yeah. That's a go-kart, yeah. that's not a car anymore. Yeah. So it's obviously got a few little bits left to do, like the windscreen and a few other bits of pieces to tidy up, but I cannot wait to see both of these yeah. on track. Go Should on. we do a little shootout, Jay? That would be quite Absolutely. cool. Absolutely. A shootout for between it, yeah. two of these would be quite cool. If you guys want to see that, let us know in the comments. But I know we're a drift channel, but to be honest, we're starting to get such an appreciation for these old school Hondas and old school JDM cars in, in, in something with history I love, but also something that's built here. Yeah. It's like two opposite ends of the scale. This is kind of a rebuilt Japanese legend. And then this is kind of a new Japanese legend that you've built in your shed. But when you put them side by side, they look absolutely incredible. So I'd love to see these two in a little lap shoot out of Mondo. I think that'd be very interesting. But we're also here because we're going to do a few bits to the Supra today. And uh, 
this is the only modifications I'm going to do to the car that aren't going to void the warranty. So this is like an ease ourselves in moment. <laughs> so we're gonna bring the car in, see what we can get done, and we'll talk you guys through it. While we're here in Precision Tinted Graphics, I wanna give a big thank you to one of our partners here at Drift Games, Tough Tile Flooring. As you can see, they have a full setup here, and it is an amazing upgrade for any garage, whether it's your workspace, whether it's your private garage. Get away from all that grubby concrete and all scuffed up painted floors, get this. Keeps you actually, one of the big things I noticed about it is that you can actually sit down on it and it's not cold because it's not sitting directly on the floor. Or something like this where you're kind of working around the garage, it looks amazing as well. So if you want to get onto the website, check out tufftile.com. They've got every range of color. You can even get your personalized logo in it. It's awesome stuff. We have it in our garage. They have it in most of the garages we go to and it's because it looks awesome. So check it out. Okay, so we're doing a couple of small pieces. This We were gonna do something more. The idea was to do the roof in black. So you'll see here on this photo from what I got. It's got like a black roof. Um, and it's, it's kind of a nice little touch. It makes it look a bit more aggressive, a bit more low, I think. Um, we were gonna do that today, but unfortunately, because Ireland, Ireland, it rained and the water actually goes down into these seals. The roof will wrap fine, but then if there's a little bit of water in there, the wrap won't stick. So we're gonna do that another day. So what we are gonna do today is Ronan, the expert here, with his measuring tape, his measuring tape, tape measuring dip. we're going to black out the back window because I just never understand why they have clear windows on the back of these cars when the boot is in the back so everyone can just see into the boot. So we're going to black that out, we're going to black these two little side windows out and they're only small and then we're going to put a Drift Games visor on it just to crown the car that it's on the Drift Games channel. It's probably the smallest and least exciting modifications we're going to make but while we're here we also got to see some cool Hondas so why not just do it bit by bit as we go. So we didn't get everything we wanted to do today, but we did do our first modifications to the Supra. So we got our Drift Games visor on there. We did a matte black with a black, which looks really good. We had to cut a little triangle out of it though. I was gonna say, <laughs> there's a triangle beside it. Yeah, it'll start throwing up faults because it's a modern car, because that's the automatic rain sensor and the automatic uh, lights. So we don't want to mess with that. We also tinted the back two windows so you can't see in. It was a little bit of a flaw, I thought, with Toyota, because this is now full limo tint on the back. But before this, you can actually just see into the boot which I don't understand why manufacturers do that, so they can just see everything they have in there. So um, much cleaner, matches all the black on the rest of the car. And we will be back for more stuff with Precision Tinted Graphics in the new year, but nice little start to our uh, journey on the Supra. Next up, on the interwebs, lots of parts. This thing is gonna look wild in a couple of weeks time. We gotta wait for those parts to come in, but I guarantee you this is gonna be the wildest Supra in Ireland. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a showstopper. So if you like the project so far, if you like the two Hondas, here's one for you. Which would you have? Would you have the old school Jay's Racing CRX? Or would you have Jay's Civic EG? I can only imagine we're actually split both ways on that because you know the heritage on that one. And I, I think you like that. I quite like this, you quite like that, but let, let you guys decide. So in the comments below, let us know which one you'd prefer. Nice little random episode for you guys today. Very cool to see these three cars in each other's company. But where in the world would you see these three cars just parked in somewhere. Well, in Precision Tinting Graphics, who also do an awesome job on every car that ever comes through the doors here. So thank you to those guys. We'll see you guys on the next episode.